The fourth annual Keep Smiling for Abby Foundation field hockey event took place on Saturday, August 5th. Due to questionable weather, the event took place at the Teamworks facility on 185 Otis Street in Northborough this year. This year's event featured the classic Hillers alumni versus current field hockey team, as well as the community teams and also a few other schools such as Holliston, Tantasqua, and Medway joined in on the fun as well. The games took place to benefit the Keep Smiling for Abby Foundation. The foundation is a 501c3 charitable organization which began operations in January 2014 after Hopkinton student and field hockey player Abby Benford passed away due to an anaphylactic reaction. The foundation hosts numerous events, for funds to raise awareness for anaphylaxis and to fund research. Uh, we're, we're at the Northboro Teamworks facility. This is the fourth annual Keep Smiling for Abbey Field Hockey fundraiser. We've done this three years in Hopkinton. We were planning to do a, a tournament model at Fruit Street Fields, but the rain and the adverse weather caused us to move indoors. We have tournament teams here from Medway, uh, Holliston, Bellingham. We also have a, a sort of a club team that we threw together to, to run a tournament model. So on one field, over my shoulder, we've got a parents and community leaders playing, uh, playing the game. And then we had a varsity and, parent, uh, varsity and alumni team uh, match over here on my right shoulder. On my left, over in another field, we've got a tournament model where these teams are competing in a seven on seven, uh, having some fun on a Saturday afternoon. It's a great event. All right, can you talk about how some of the other schools got involved? I think I saw Tantasco and Holliston here as well. That's right, that's right. So we, we thought about how to grow the event and how to expand our message to stop anaphylaxis. And one, one of the first ideas that came up was doing a tournament. So we solicited the captains and the teams uh, from these local towns and we got a strong commitment. Uh, so here we go, we're going to do a tournament model now. Preseason work? Yeah, sure. Little Captain's Cup type of activity. And uh, I understand uh, you had to get this uh, Northboro facility pretty quick when you saw the, uh, the not so good looking uh, weather report. Was it an easy process getting this venue reserved? Uh, we got a lucky bounce there. When, on Friday morning we woke up and looked at the weather for Saturday and, and it, it, it had high risk of thunderstorms and we were going to play at Fruit Street outside with no shelter. So uh, Joan Bannon and my wife sort of came up with the concept of looking in inside facilities. Uh, Northboro Teamworks uh, had space. Uh, and we signed up right away. They were very open to having us. They gave us a lot of uh, flexibility in using the space, so it's a great event, a great indoor, uh, indoor and dry day. It's kind of warm and steamy in here, though. And uh, lastly, just to remind people, could you talk about what this event is for? Sure, we're raising money to fund research into uh, early detection and treatment of anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis is a sudden onset of an allergic reaction. Uh, my daughter, Abby, passed away from an anaphylactic reaction. Uh, we're, uh, we're funding research at the Wies Institute at Harvard University to create such a device. We have a table of uh, demonstration table from the Wies today to talk about our, our, our project. It's called Project Abbey. Uh, so we're, that's our primary mission. We do fund two scholarships in Hopkinton, so the money we raise does stay local. We're very proud of the support from the community and very proud of our, uh, our, our foundation's give back.